Okay, Rahman Khan. Continue the debate. No, let's see. Can I Anyhow, I called him. Let him speak. After that, I will. After he completes, we will discuss. Okay. Uh, let him, I called him. Let him complete. Thank you, Mr. Deputy Chairman, sir, for giving me an opportunity to participate in this short duration discussion on new education policy. I am relieved. Because no, the minister, minister clarified that they are only inputs on national policy. I am relieved. Because these inputs, various people have different apprehensions. Because, as Mr. Yachuri mentioned, there is a document supposed to be from RSS, supposed to be, I am saying, I am using the word carefully. And the doubt is, what is there in this document is there in this input document also, replica, same. So this creates a doubt and apprehension. You can even refer it, because you may be knowing it also. So if you remove that apprehension, that the real policy of education which you are going to formulate, is for the real educational upliftment of the nation, every will be support you because after all the policy is necessary. And this is not the first time that you are formulating a policy. From the time the country became independent, we have worked on policies only, educational policies only. What is necessary is, while framing the policy, we should not forget the basic structure of the Constitution. Because you, I, everybody has taken oath that we will, our first priority is to protect the constitution, safeguard the constitution. So the doubt is that in the policy document, there is an apprehension and one or two words are available that you will be tinkering with article 29 and 30 of the constitution. I would not like to go, I will not like to go into the detail. If it is not there, it's good. If you are not tinkering, it is good. If you not, if, because it is not mentioned. Because that is, assurance is very essential. Because, because this article 29 and 30 is put to constitution after great deliberation by Sardar Vallabhai Patel. So, this is an assurance given, yes. Solomon assurance given the, while forming this thing. Though nobody should have the right to tinker with this Article 29 and 30 of the Constitution. You are inherited great people. The nation's HRD minister, education minister, is the maker of the destiny of the nation. And the first education minister of this nation, which we have forgotten, is Maulana Abul Kalam Azad. He is the only education minister who has shaped the destiny for 11 years 
Afterwards, no other education minister had the opportunity to shape for 11 years. And he is not an educated person, and he is a madrasa educated person. And he shaped the destiny of this nation's education for till today that policy is going on. Most of the institution created, University Grants Commission, Lalit Kalata, name the institution which is today are spreading the knowledge all over the world, culture, spreading the Indian culture is done by a madrasa educated person. So whether when you talk about Gurukal, you should talk about Madrasa also. Right. When you talk about culture, you should talk of all the culture. Similarly, Madrasa is not untouchable. It, is, you have, it has been made untouchable. By publicity, it has been made untouchable. The first president of India, Dr. Rajendra Prasad, he has studied in Arabic madrasa, not in Sanskrit madrasa. Right. How many of us know about the culture, about this? That is why I would like, we are talking about vision. There is a document called Maulana Abdul Kalam Azad, Educational Vision and Contribution. The vision which that man whom we have forgotten is same, much better than your input policy. You go through it. And for information of the house, I would like to read few. Early in his career as a minister, as he contemplated shaping the future of India, through educational policy, he thus envisaged the possibilities. He said, today India is free. That is in 1947 he is saying. Today India is free. She can have any kind of mental mold she pleases. Will it, will it exclude you? Or Will it be inclusive? Which has been the characteristics of India? Inclusionist is the characteristic of India. Indian culture throughout the ages, not now. You talk about BC, throughout the ages, it is the characteristic, inclusionist is the characteristic of the India. In the advancement of the nation, there is no greater hindrance than the narrow-mindedness which we are afraid. It is our duty to keep ourselves free from this disease of narrow-mindedness in the new area of, era of independence. The tradition of India, he said, had been every kind of culture, every mode of living was allowed to flourish and find its own salvation. He emphasized the acceptance of unity and diversity has been India's motto throughout the ages. The essence of this principle is Lord wide-hearted wide tolerance. This is what he said to shape the education policy of the pre-India. Are we talking about him? Whether a word is there in the end policy, his name? You see the document, he has all that inputs which you have got. What else we need? Why we have forgotten him? Why we are not looking? Why our students are not taught? He is the one person, a visionary, in 1946, before Pakistan was created. Before Pakistan was created, he has given an interview and predicted that Pakistan will break visionary 1946 even before formation Pakistan will break and Pakistan is not Pakistan it will be a combination of fighting states 
it will be losing battles all 10 prediction he has done all the 10 predictions has come true it is not that i am saying it is the pakistan has broadcasted the vision of maulana azad how he predicted how the breaking of pakistan and what is his pretext what is today's pakistan see if and he opposed throughout his life he was regretting <laughs> that pandit nehru sardar patel and mahatma gandhi conceded to pakistan he never conceded <coughs> are we teaching the student the younger generation <coughs> this is the contribution this is the culture we want this is the type of policy we want i have no time if we go through it it is better than any of this rss document or the uh, uh, tsr subramaniam documents and uh, thing. and this document of tsr subramaniam in 3 4 months can you prepare a national policy for the entire nation no no wait, wait. where is where is the where is the consultative where, whom they have yes no no i what i am saying please 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 you see, you said it is a consultative process. Policy is a consultative process. No, no, you are consulting me, not only me, not only us, but I would like to know the biggest problem <coughs> the whole world recognized, United Nations recognized, the government of India recognized, the, 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 the worst backwardness among the Muslims is the only, if there is anybody who is backward in the education, it is Muslims. There is nothing wrong to say that. It is accepted fact. And that having whom have they consulted among the minorities? What are the names of the organization with, with whom they have consulted? Can you give me the names? Can T.S. Subramaniam has uh, uh, consulted anybody? He has given a report. He has given a report. That is also an input. There are other inputs also. Now, what is your ministry doing to get the inputs from the cross sections of the society? No, I, 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 I am a member of parliament. I am giving my as a, as a name for the entire country. For the minorities, what are their problems? What, what is that they are doing? What are, how they are facing? What is their aspiration? How they want to contribute to the nation's development? All these things have to be looked into. So I would not like to go into details. Please don't hurry up. Don't hush up. See, you have to see that ample time is given. There should be consultation and you should not close the consultation and then a policy takes time. A policy is framed after due deliberation, due consultation. I hope this policy also will be a policy which will look from the national point of view, nation's point of view and not from a particular thinking. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.